Hi lovely Pisces, welcome to my channel, my name is Katie. Today I'm going to be doing your reading for the new moon in Gemini coming up on June 3rd. So let's see what's in store for you guys. Um, this is going to be a very beautiful, very light-hearted energy new moon. So new moons are always new beginnings, as you probably know by now. Um, and new moon in Gemini is kind of like a new beginning and an assessment on the communication. The quality of the communication that we have with our loved ones, the level of vulnerability that we allow in our communications with others. It is a wonderful time to enjoy this kind of like lighthearted, flirty, fun energy, I guess we could say. So I want to see what's in store for us Pisces. I am a Pisces too, so let's see what is coming for us on this new moon. As I go ahead and select the cards, um, you can go ahead, if you haven't subscribed already to my channel and you feel like you resonate and you would like to be a part of this family, uh, make sure to click on the little golden tippy that's on the corner of this video so you can subscribe and join us. I would love to have you here, obviously. Let's see, Pisces, Pisces, what is the new moon in Gemini bringing in for us, Pisces? New moon in Gemini for Pisces. So this is happening on June 3rd. New moon in Gemini for Pisces. Queen of Swords. Moon. Ace of Wands. Also, guys, um, as I continue to do the reading, um, you can go ahead and check in the description box. I have a free gift for you guys. You can go ahead and download today your 10-minute morning ritual, which is a gratitude meditation and basically a little moment to tune in at the beginning of the day. And, you know, find your center. Start the day with intention and consciousness. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to start with this half. Some Pisces right now are feeling extremely victorious in some areas of life and extremely bumpy <laughs> or kind of like uh, turbulent in other areas. So it is very interesting. We have two threes here. And with the Six of Wands, which is the one that is kind of catching my attention the most, I feel like you guys are truly the kind of people that takes a difficult situation and turns it into uh, somehow a success. It's like what, would, what other people would consider to be simply something negative that happens. It's like you somehow have the ability to turn that disadvantage into actually you know, like the best thing, like a success, like a, something to feel proud of. I feel like you guys are definitely succeeding in your career by this time of June. You are definitely moving forward. You're leading the way for others. Others are following your steps, are using you as an example, as a guidance, Pisces. But at the same time, I feel like you guys are still a little bit confused about something. You might be a little bit troubled or conflicted in regards to your own personal healing. So some of you guys might be struggling a little bit with heartbreak, um, deception, disappointment, anxiety, depression, and things of this kind. I feel like some of you are still healing from a group situation that happened in the past that was just so offensive to you, honestly. Like, it really was just so, like, I'm getting the word disgusting for you. Um, that obviously goes for some people, but this is a general reading, so obviously not everything is going to apply to you. If it doesn't apply to you, know that it applies to someone else watching this video, probably. I feel like you're healing from something that kind of took you and pushed you off the edge a little bit. And the healing hasn't been as easy, perhaps, as you would have liked it to be. And you might be a little bit blocked or confused as far as, should I move forward? Should I, you know, 
step into my success and claim it and go all the way? Or should I just take some more leisure time? Should I take it easy? Should I just focus on my healing for a little longer? There might be information and answers that you're waiting for that you are not completely clear about. Make sure that you don't make any important decisions around this new moon. It is really important. I'm getting it really heavy for some of you guys. Try to wait a little bit longer. Wait for some days to go by before making any important decisions. Any decisions that you feel very inclined to do on around June 3rd, try to just push that a little bit um, so you can really receive the communication that you're going to be receiving on the new moon. There's it's very likely that we're going to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations or deep connections with others or this sense of vulnerability in our communication with our loved ones. And that is going to bring in probably some essential information that you'll need to move forward. So don't make any decisions before that arrives, okay? Hmm... Yes, Pisces, you are healing. Yes, it might take a little bit longer. Yes, it is divinely guided. You know, what can I tell you? Just be patient. Address your mental health, your emotional health, your physical health. And know that every step in the right direction counts. Even if some weeks feel like tiny little steps are the only thing that you can take, know that those count, okay? So don't be too hard on yourself if you feel like you're not accomplishing as much as you would like. Celebrate the little victories, celebrate the little steps that you do in the right direction because those are actually more meaningful than you realize. Um, some of you guys might be... Um, celebrating, socializing, connecting with others. Some of you are dealing with air signs. That would be Gemini's, Libra's, Aquarius energy. Some of you are having this new beginning with a soulmate. That could be an air sign. It's a new, very passionate and inspired and motivated new beginning in which you feel like you have this moment of refreshing update of the energy. So let's say that you're dealing with a soulmate or someone who feels very, very close to you. When I mean soulmate, this could be romantic, but it also could be someone in your family, someone, a really good close friend, or someone who you just feel so connected to, like beyond, you know, what's normal. Um, know that this relationship, if it was feeling kind of stagnant for a little bit, if it was feeling a little bit you know, like you were getting into some kind of comfort zone with this, with this person, know that by the time this new moon comes, there's gonna be kind of like a, a blooming in this, in this relationship. Um, some of you guys are dealing with an Aries. It, it goes for the same, you know, like it's the same thing, whether it's an air sign or an Aries. Um, what I'm getting is that there's a refresh, you know, it's like a, a fresh new energy that comes into that current relationship. Now, if you are um, not coupled, and you're wishing for a partner, what I'm getting is that there's still some healing work that needs to be done before that connection can come through. And that's okay, you don't wanna receive that love if you're not ready, you know? You should just focus on yourself and focus on, you know, self-love, self-acceptance, healing, especially things in regards to past difficult situations with the group that will open up the chances of that person arriving as well. However, I'm getting very strongly with the moon and the two of swords that right now you guys don't have the full information about something. And this is okay. Just wait for this new moon to bring in that communication. Someone might confess something to you. Someone might need to talk to you very deeply and kind of like tell you how they're feeling and step into a whole new level of vulnerability that you haven't seen before. Maybe you feel inclined to do this. Um, but after this new moon, it's very likely that you're going to have all of the angles, the perspective, the conversations, the information, 
the awareness that you'll need in order to move forward. Where before this new moon, just try to be kind of like floating on the river of life and let things unfold as they need to. And just be comfortable with the fact that you may not have all the answers right now. Because you are headed in the right direction, you guys. You, I mean, come on. You know that I do tons of readings for Pisces. And on every single reading, I feel like you guys are blooming. It's something that I've been mentioning over and over and over. Every reading this year, I feel. Like, there is an awakening. There is a healing that has finally started showing results, I guess. So over, overall, I always feel like the Pisces readings are very positive and you guys are always, at least for right now, headed into success, into abundance, into happiness. But every reading is going to bring in some, you know, little processes that need to happen and that's why I continue to obviously do them <laughs> and bring to you um, the specific energies that are available. I'm going to be pulling some messages that you can focus on, some kind of like mantras that you can have in mind around these days so you can, you know, feel centered and connected. Pisces for the new moon in Gemini. Okay. Oop, it's upside down. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. Focus on yourself, focus on your journey, Focus on the way you are choosing to communicate to others or not communicate with others. Recently, I've chosen to not communicate with others. <laughs> Have that privacy and that space and time for me to heal. And I feel like for this, like around this new moon, something important is going to come to my awareness. So it could go both ways, you guys. Maybe you're feeling like you need to communicate more. Maybe you feel like you need to communicate less. Maybe you feel like you need to communicate better, better, or more honestly, you know? It, it will be different for every single Pisces out there. Okay. Oneness is my true nature. I love that. So beautiful. Oneness is my true nature. Let's pull one more. There is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. There is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. Love it, you guys. So I hope that you have a wonderful time on this new moon in Gemini. I know that it's going to be a very light energy for you guys, I feel. Um, know that... I have a lot of tools for you in the description box. Always make sure to stop by because there's programs, there's um, the free morning ritual that I'm um, giving away that you can download right now if you want. And please make sure to subscribe if you want to thank me for the time invested in these videos. Honestly, your subscriptions are what I appreciate the most and your comments as well. I love connecting to you. I love to um, establish conversations with you, know what's going on, know what resonates, what doesn't, you know. It's lovely to know what Pisces are going through. And as a fellow Pisces, know that I'm going to be continuing to post more and more and more readings for you guys. And I hope that you have a wonderful time. I think that's all I have to say. <laughs> Bye, guys.